today we're talking pollen. I think a lot of people get confused between pollen and nectar. A lot of people ask me, does the honey that the bees make depend on the pollen that they're getting? And I think a lot of people in their mind don't realize the difference uh, between pollen and nectar and that bees gather both of them, but for very different reasons. So the basics of it, pollen provides the bees protein and nectar they turn into honey which is just carbohydrates. So today I want to show you pollen, show you bees getting pollen, show you me getting pollen, and then show you what pollen looks like in the hive and how the bees eat it themselves. So the first thing to know about pollen is how do bees get it off the flowers. So let's go see some bees on flowers. Okay, I'm going to just explain briefly what pollen is in a little more depth. So, so this is like a grade 6 biology without so many of the big words. Uh, pollen is part of the reproductive system of flowers and often flowers and plants rely on insects to move pollen from one flower to another or from the male parts of the flower to the female parts of the flower to get proper pollination. So this is an apple blossom that I've got here and on these dangly bits on the end uh, there would be pollen that a bee could come and collect and there's also uh, female parts of the flower in there too that hopefully they would bring pollen from a different flower and it could properly fertilize this and produce seeds. <laughs> So pollen is required for reproduction of plants, but nectar is a little different. Nectar is um, often made by the flowers just as like a lure or bait to get an insect or something else to this flower and actually move pollen from one flower to another in the process of just searching for nectar. Now honeybees have evolved to go out searching for both pollen and nectar, but um, something like a hummingbird for example would only be out searching for nectar and it would be buried you know deep down inside this flower and searching for that nectar that hummingbird would inadvertently get pollen on it and then end up moving it from one flower to another okay we're at one of my locations now where I trap pollen so I'm going to show you what pollen looks like when it comes off the bees and we actually harvest it here this is a colony with a pollen trap bottom board. So they actually have to go through an entrance here and then move up into the hive. And some of the pollen gets stripped off of their legs as they come into it and it falls down into this drawer. Have a look. Oh yeah. Okay, that's a lot of pollen. And this is what it looks like, these little grains when it comes off the bee's legs. The darker orange stuff is dandelion. Um, some of the paler yellow is a lot from the apple trees mostly right now. So you could call this kind of raw pollen in a way. Like the bees pack it onto their legs, out on the flowers. They bring it straight into the hive, just like this. And then they actually have to pack it away and store it before they really consume it. So this is the way that um, we can harvest it from the hives. And I've got a bag here. 
and I'm going to collect up a whole bunch today. I'm in a different spot now and I just pulled a couple of these pollen traps to see if there's any real differences between two colonies here that are side by side. And this one has quite a few ants crawling in it, which isn't a good thing. And here's this one. I think this one looks more orange. There's more of that dandelion pollen in it compared to that one, but it's not a big difference. They're pretty much the same. Sometimes you see really strong differences between two hives, even if they're side by side. And it just depends on what they decide to forage for. Okay, I got into this hive and I've shaken some of the bees off of one of these outside frames. And it's a good frame to show you packed away pollen actually inside these cells that they've stored. I'll show you. The shadow of the camera makes it kind of hard. See all the colors inside these cells here? That's actually stored pollen. And the bees mix the pollen that comes in on their legs with a bit of honey or nectar and uh, some other enzymes that they secrete themselves. And in this state, when it's stored away, we call it bee bread. And that's the stuff that the worker bees actually feed on. Okay, I'm back home. Let's see what I got for pollen. Not a bad bag full for today. I wasn't really expecting too much because um, I really didn't have that many hives trapping pollen. And they've only been doing it for the last maybe four or five days and it's rained half that time anyway. So this is going straight into the freezer. Mm -hmm. 